You guys ready for the next <laughs> grazing spot? What we're doing here is we're taking these goats, we're using them as land management. We're moving them pretty much every day uh, or every other day, depending on what the land looks like. And what our goal is with these goats is to uh, optimize the grass growing there. So we're trying to get rid of all the weeds. Uh, we're also trying to run them underneath the trees to clean up uh, underneath the trees. The goats will browse higher and uh, they'll eat up and kind of clean the bottom area of the trees, which is what we're really going for. So we've got six total goats here, and uh, we've used them on leafy spurge, and they did amazing on that leafy spurge. I highly recommend, if you have a spurge problem, uh, you know, if you have a big problem, six goats just isn't gonna do it, but if you have a spurge problem at all, goats are the way to go. They are awesome. They're not, once you train them, they are not hard to keep. These guys, they get it, you move them often, they understand how that uh, whole system works, and it doesn't take long for them to learn. So I highly recommend goats. We're using uh, purebred Nubians here. Um, I don't know that they're the best for land management, they're just what we have because we had them as a milking goat. So, uh, what I wanna show you today on, on uh, the channel is how we uh, move them. We've got the goats in the front section, We've got all the supplies in the back section. So the area that we're in was probably planted here and placed here for a natural windbreak. Trees were maintained by uh, basically running a tractor and tilling up the area underneath the trees. Well, we've stopped doing that. It's expensive and um, we, we wanna do it uh, a little bit differently because we've got the animals and we've got this netting. And so what, we, what we're gonna wanna do now is take that and uh, get rid of this wormwood. The, those goats will browse this wormwood. Uh, those goats will browse some of these uh, thistle that they're gonna have to walk through and and uh, get get kind of uh, if any if they don't eat it, let's trample it down and let's at, let's just set it back. Uh, you know if they don't actually eat it, but I think they'll they'll take care of some of these leaves anyways. And uh, so we're gonna start here. This is a terrible spot for the thistle and the wormwood. And some of these, um, some of these shoots, uh, the, these little trees uh, showing up. So good, great place for them to start. Okay, so if you're not familiar with this Premier One netting, uh, we really like it. I, I know people have different opinions about that, but uh, we love it. It's got, we've got the double spoke bottom. Uh, we got that because I uh, feel like it is a little bit more safe and secure. You can get single spoke. It's a little bit cheaper. Um, so you're gonna get your netting out uh, and I think they come in 100 foot rolls 150 foot rolls and then what you're gonna do is uh, we I like to lay it out so I, I go you know and um, lay a perimeter out about as good as I as good as I think I can here um, and then uh, you know kind of going on where the short grass the shorter grass is so that uh, I, I'm not gonna ground out as much. So I'm gonna actually come, I'm gonna actually bring this all the way over and then I'm gonna kind of shoot over. Um, and just something about this netting as well is you, you can put it in any shape, whatever you want. You can wrap it around trees. Um, so it's just ideal for, um, for what we're doing. But I, I do wanna say, I do want to say that that I do feel like it, it's expensive um, for what you're for this I, I, probably about a dollar a foot um, but it is just so versatile as far as using it on goats on sheep uh, you could probably keep a milk cow in for a, a short period of time with this uh, easy um, so just just the versatility I, I feel like it's worth it. We got one laid out here. We're gonna lay out two more, but that's it. But lay it all out and then step it all in so it's upright. And then hook uh, all the sections together. And then you're gonna get your fencer and your battery on it. Okay, so we're starting to set the fence up now. And it doesn't have to be super tight. The, the, 
the goats are, are are trained to this fence. They've been in it for quite a while already. So, <coughs> um, but we've got the double spike here. But what you do want to do is you see how there's two risers here, where it's all tied together with the plastic. We want this pole to be up against either this one side or we want it to be up against that other side. And that's what makes your fence, uh, see how it's up against here? That's what makes your fence tight. If you really want that tight, nice look all the way around and whatever, you can do that by bringing it to one side and there's sliders on the bottom <clears throat> so you can move that. So we got our, our electric fence up to the uh, trailer. They're not gonna get out. They're not gonna wanna get out. They're gonna wanna go out into the area uh, their new area they're going to want to see what's there and start eating um, so let's get these guys out and see what happens You can see they're going right. They're going right to that um, that thistle. They're eating the leaves. That's the very first thing they're wanting to eat here. And that that is what we're trying to manage. That is what we're trying to see here. And and that is the importance of not only uh, just the diversity of, of the livestock, but the importance of moving them and managing them. And it's it's just a, it's an awesome thing. There's so much fun to have around. So not only are these guys, not only do you see them getting browsing here and getting all the leaves, uh, the thistle, but look at what they do behind them. All of this, all of this hoof traffic here. It, you know they're 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 mowing it over. They're pushing it down into the ground and. Uh, this is awesome. This is exactly what we want to see. And this is this is just a picture of it's going to this area here is going to be a picture when we're done of great land management and what we can do uh, to to manage our trees and our areas and you can do the same animals out here and you're moving them all the time you're not going to have a permanent water source for these guys so you're going to have to find yourself a little tub of some kind you know we've got this little poly tub here it, it doesn't hold a lot but <clears throat> i've kind of found the, the the place that i it just makes it easy to come by with the side by side or whatever and put a couple buckets of water in here every day for them but you got to make sure these guys have water so uh, that's uh, get, get yourself a little tub. Also, if if it's easy and and it's not going to make a big deal, put this tub right in your weed space or something that you want to get rid of. And obviously, they have to go to water. They have to trample that area a lot more. Um, so that's a really good position to have this place. And then if you really have a lot of weeds you want to get rid of, move this thing every single time, every single day. I mean, every single time that you fill it move it move it over a new patch so that they're trampling a little bit different area man they're just terrorizing that wormwood awesome good job guys <laughs> 